Pep was the more senior one in, in the position as well, and I met him when I was 15, 26, 27 years old, and I did my ACL, and, and then I started to connect with Pep from that moment as well. I'm so grateful that I did. Hi, this is Mikel Arteta, and this is box to box Ah, beautiful moments. At 14, I had to decide tennis or football. So I was doing both at the same time and I was playing at quite a high level. So I had to decide move to Barcelona to do football in Barcelona or go to the tennis academy that is designed in Barcelona was the, the best in Europe, I think. What were your first impressions after arriving at La Masia? I remember the first time that I arrived to the residence and, and my parents left and I was by myself. It was, I was 14, 15 years old. It was the first time that I left home and uh, Andres Iniesta was in my bedroom. He was 12, 13 years old. He used to sleep next to me and, uh, and we could all see the talent. He was so small, still physically not developed, but he was phenomenal already at that age. Uh, Victor Valdez was in my bedroom, Pepe Reina was in my bedroom. Two of those, they decided to leave assets and estates because it was too much. And, and then they came back, but um, it, was, it was worth it to stay there. So the first thing trained on the pitch next to the residence and it was Pep Guardiola, Luis Figo, Rivaldo. It was all those kind of names at the time and it was incredible to see them training every day. Could you tell that even back then, Xavi and Iniesta were going to be generation defining players? Yes, that's why I have to leave Barcelona because I have those two in my position. They were phenomenal at their age and, uh, and you could tell they're going to impact the world uh, because they were unique in, in what they could deliver on that pitch. Hmm. That's the magic moment. And the moment that every kid is waiting for is, is to have the chance, the opportunity to become a, a professional football player and, and have your debut. And, uh, and I did it in one of the most beautiful and special cities and clubs in the world. I had to do a lot of running because I was the sixth and I had JJ Ococha, Ronaldinho and Elka in front of me. We had an incredible team. I had a great time. Having played in England and Spain, what's the big differences between those two leagues and even the countries? Well, many. The way of living, you know, that's something very important. Then the speed, the speed and physicality as well. They are very, very different apart. The England one is, is much quicker, much more physical. The Spanish one is more technical. Then I would say especially the difference is the competition, that any, any game here is a battle. The Liga or Premier League? I go for the Premier League. Uh, I think it's the best uh, league in the world for sure and, um, and the way the league has evolved in the last two or three years for me, there is no, no question about that. Hmm. Should I put it on? <laughs> Great memories. It must have been an incredibly proud moment when Arsene Wenger made you captain at Arsenal. It was an immense honour. He gave me a lot of responsibility, a lot of faith. Yeah, I felt I was ready for it, and there were other people that could have done it as well, but um, I was extremely proud. Did you always plan to move into coaching after playing? I think it grew through my career. When I moved from coaches, culture, different countries, different league, I started to have different experiences. I started to understand the game, 26, 27 years old, and I did my ACL, and I didn't know what I was going to get back. I started to think, really, OK, what I want to do if this doesn't go in the right way. And then I started to do my coaching badges and then I loved it more there than probably playing in the grass. The opportunity to come and to start in a coaching staff with Pep and uh, I'm so grateful that I did. Is there any current player that you've managed that would make a good manager in the future? Yeah, there will be a lot. There were a few that they were at City already that I think they're going to be top managers. There are a few here that I think in a few years they're going to be. I prefer not to say the name, not to put pressure on them, but, uh, but they're going to be a few, yeah. What's the hardest thing about being a manager that you didn't have to experience as a player? That when you come through that door, everybody's expecting you to do something about it. And they are all looking at you and you have to have the right answers. And I always say that it's nothing like being a player, but I'm not so sure about that now. When you have a vision, an idea, or a plan to do something and actually that happens and you're able to connect that many people, that's so powerful. And as a manager, that's something that is a unique feeling and, and you don't get it as a player. Now, what are your aims and dreams for the future as a manager? Just work daily um, with your values, with your ideas, follow your gut feeling, be consistent and be disciplined and then recruit top talent. 
because without players, there is no success as a manager. <laughs> My incredible city. What was it like growing up as a kid in St. Sebastian in the Basque country? It was incredible, so privileged. Um, where I'm from, um, the education and the values that I was um, raised with, uh, the environment, because it's a, it's a beautiful country, it's a beautiful city, San Sebastian. I go regularly when I can, but uh, there are a lot of things that, that I miss a lot. Now, I heard you grew up playing amateur football with Javier Alonso. Could you tell he would become a manager in the future as well? Well, the manager, I don't know, but the player, he was there for sure. Um, and we live five minutes away from each other. We play against each other. We play in the same team in Antiguoco. His father, he was a coach. He's been educated by some of the top managers in the world, so I'm not surprised. How close did you get to representing England internationally as a player? Yeah, I was pretty close. When Capello was the manager, um, I was very close and I got injured as well at the same time I was going to go to Spain. So I didn't do it, but um, I would have been very proud to be part of that. Hi, I'm Mikel Arteta and this was Box to Box.